I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. June 15th, Tuesday. The reading is from Revelations, the 21st chapter, verse 22, through the 22nd chapter, verse 5. And I saw no temple in the city, for his temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine upon it, for the glory of God is its light, and his lamp is the, Lord, is, the Lord, is the Lamb. By its light shall the nations walk, and the kings of earth shall bring their glory into it. And its gates shall never be shut by day, and there shall be no night there. They shall bring it into it the glory and the honor of the nations. But nothing unclean shall enter, nor any one who practices abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written, written in the Lamb's book of life. Then he showed me the river of the water of life, bright, bright as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, through the middle of the street of the city, also on either side of the river, the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree were, were for the healing of the nations. There shall be no more, uh, there shall be, there shall no more be anything accursed, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall worship him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be on their forehead. And night shall be no more. They need no light of, of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Word of the Lord. God dwells with us. John's vision in Revelation imagines a new experience of God. He de describes a city with no night, no gates, not even a temple. No need for a building for worship when living in God's very presence. I recall these verses as I shut for the last time the door of the home where I grew up. When my parents were gone, I faced the task of cleaning out the accumulation of two lives and selling the house. A few years after the final closing of that door, I still regularly dream I am back to the house I knew like the back of my hand. Those frequent, these frequent dreams remind me that my parents are part of who I am even though they are physically gone. I am happy when my dreams take me home again to wake feeling like none of it is so far away. I suspect God's vision gave him a similar feeling, that he wanted to share his experience so all would know that God is near and is coming soon to make all things new. Indeed, God dwells with us now. Our prayer. God, help us know you are too close and that your spirit dwells with us. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.